Hey there, Roger Burnley here. I have a new video for you. And again, I'm answering more of your questions that you've placed on the YouTube channel. So I'm really excited to hear those and, and give you some, some answers here. Now, Matt writes, um, I've been a smoker for more years than I care to admit. And he started taking piano lessons, voice lessons and all. He felt like his coach was giving up on him because he kept picking up the cigarettes again and, and how that might be affecting his voice and, and all of that. Then it goes into to, uh, is there and you know he's getting to the point where he wants to give up on everything and then he wants to sing um, black gospel music and he's heard that's harder on your voice yes that is true but let me explain about the effects of all of this um, and for those people who are smokers or who have been or who are um, you know still doing it and w what you can do to kind of counteract that now I can't sit here and tell you that singers, you all know that there's so many singers for whatever reason that are smokers. Some of the greatest singers of all time have been smokers, but it does bring other problems that can limit your career. There's very few of them who have been able to do that and maintain a really healthy voice over the length of their career. So that's the first thing. Typically what happens when you're smokers that you will start to form what I call a lot of weight in you know in, in your voice and then you start to fall back in your throat a lot then what happens is you start to use the swallowing muscles because Matt's saying that he's feeling when he's going up into his higher notes that he's straining yes you would do that because ah, you're going back here these swallowing muscles are coming down and you're always cutting your you're cutting off your air it's making it harder to get those higher notes and then your voice is going to start to crack that was the other part of this my voice is cracking apart it's not cracking because of the smoking it's cracking because of your positioning your larynx is moving out of place as you're going higher now it's moving out of place because it's falling back in your throat okay so that's all what I'm getting you to see is that it's all connected so what I'm going to do is give you an exercise that you can try that's going to start to counteract that whether you're smoking or not doesn't matter <laughs> just for anybody to counteract these um, this feeling of your larynx constantly moving around as you're trying to move th through your range okay and this is a very weird ugly one but what you're going to do is close your mouth place your thumbs under your jaw so that you can feel these swallowing muscles you're only placing them there just so you can make sure that those muscles are not coming down okay and I need you to have that kind of edgy sound on it because if you don't have that you're gonna go back here and you for sure here feel these muscles come down then the other thing you're gonna do is you're gonna think that you're just going down into the notes this way it starts to change your habit of always pushing up to try to get to your higher notes so let me demonstrate a little bit of it for you Okay. Yes, you need to make this face. You could hear right there as I got higher, I closed even more, a little less sound. Mm, mm. I'm making my, I'm allowing my vocal cords then to come together and make a nice, really clean sound. Now, do that over and over again. The other part again, keep thinking you're going down this way. You're developing a coordination in your body that's going to stop things from from falling back in your throat. It's going to stop you from trying to push up to get to your higher notes. Then as a result of that, you're going to start to get rid of some of these cracks, as he said it, which are actually just breaks in, in the voice. So try that, just go over and over it, and you'll see every time you do it, you're going to come out of it feeling like your voice is a lot more 
present. So I know you're going to enjoy that one, so be patient with it. Keep training yourself and change the habits that you've developed at this point. So be sure and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have many more videos for you and you will receive announcements as well as to when I might open some of my um, online programs as well. Alrighty, I'll see you real soon. Thanks. Now, if you would like to work with me personally to develop the voice of your dreams, be sure and check the links below. Also, be sure and engage, leave comments, and share this with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you real soon.